Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how we can construct a perpendicular line through a point. So we're going to draw a line through this point that is perpendicular to this given line. So let's take a look at how we would do that. Our first step is going to be put your compass center on point P. So you put your center there, make sure it's nice and center. And then what we're going to do is just draw an arc through this line. So we're going to take your pencil and just draw an arc through that line like that. Now, the key thing about this arc is that it hits that line in two separate locations. Now what we're going to do, let's go ahead and name those points of intersection. We can call that Q and call that one R. So now we've got these two points of intersection. And what we're going to do with those points is we're actually going to draw some more arcs. So we're going to put our compass center on that first point Q, center it on there. And then we're going to draw an arc below this line. So I'm just going to draw an arc like that. Now when we draw this arc, we want that arc to be on the left and the right of that point P. So as long as it's on the left and the right, we're good. So it's on the right there, it's on the left there, I'm good. Now I want to make sure I'm using the same hole, so I use the fourth hole out here. And then I'm going to take my compass center and put it on point R. So my center is on R now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an arc that goes through that arc I just drew. Keep in mind I'm using the same hole I used to draw that arc here. So now I have two arcs that intersect below my line. And at the point of intersection, which we can call S, we're going to draw a line that goes through it and point P. So if I draw that line, what's going to happen is this line that I drew should be perpendicular to this line that I started with. So what we can say is that PS, this line we just drew, is perpendicular to that line QR. Now, keep in mind that that symbol means perpendicular. So, we successfully created a perpendicular line through a given point. And that's it.